Let's talk about the terror of rising. It recently came into the picture when a letter has come to a Mississippi senator. His name is Roger Wicker, which was tested positive for rising. And it is first detected in Capitol's off-site mail facility in Washington. And it is now sent to FBI's laboratory in Quantico for the further verification. And a suspect has been identified but no action yet taken according to the police. So now let's know about the ricin. So it is one of the byproduct of processing of castor beans. And this is the structure of castor bean. And this is the plant from where in this castor bean is uh, derived. So it is the seed of this plant. It is used for medicine and other applications and it is a natural but highly toxic compound biologically it is a inhibitor of protein synthesis ricin is classified as a type 2 ribosome inactivating proteins and at present there is no specific test for exposure and no antidote has been developed once it is exposed it is fatal when inhaled ingested or injected when it is inhaled, then it causes failure of the respiratory and circulatory systems. When it is ingested, it causes it causes nausea, vomiting, and internal bleeding of the stomach and intestine, and it uh, further results in failure of the liver, spleen, and kidney, and finally death of the individual because of the collapse of the circulatory system. So if it is injected then it causes immediate death of the muscles and lymph nodes near the sites of the injection and the failure of the major organ results and finally death of the individual follows. And at present there is no cure and even a pinch of this ricin inhaled ingested or injected results in death within the 36 to 48 hours. Ricin ingestion is not always fatal and it is more effective in case of children compared to the adults and medical experts points that ricin is nowhere near to the powerful as killer as the anthrax which is supposed to be very powerful.